Hello, my name is Hamis from Kimde Group of Companies. Today we are going to talk about another integrated structure. And this structure we have goats and chicken, whereby our goats of course are on zero grazing, while our chicken are on deep litter system. And our capacities are 500 goats and 1,000 local birds. Our structure looks big, but it's because on the ground floor, or the chicken's floor, there is also a brooder. For anyone that has been in farming, poultry farming, you know what I use of a brooder. But then it's not a must that you have have to use that extra room for a brooder. You can use that room for a storage unit because of course you need a store for your feet, both for the chicken and for the goats themselves. So it's a big space that can still be useful. I'm going to start with the goat section because it's the bigger thing on this design. Our design is going to look a little different from our usual integrated structures and this is because first and foremost our structure has many more partitions on the inside and then it also has balconies on the outside which is not a usual thing on our designs. Our designs usually have a ramp and it's landing then you're inside the house and you don't have to you know. But why do you have a balcony on this one and not on just one side but both? The reason is simple. On this particular design the client requested that instead of putting them inside we actually put them outside. Now remember our design is an integrated structure with the goat on the first floor, which means that our shed is over what you would call human height. So basically cleaning those feeding trucks when you've attached them on the outside of the structure becomes harder and so you cannot clean in those feeders. So why do we have balconies? The balconies are essentially for allowing the caretaker of the farm of the animal to access the feeding trough that we actually placed on the outside of the structure. The second part, I want to attract your attention towards the partitions. We have a bit more partitions than usual on this one. Usually the partitions we have, standard partitions, we have a general flock partition, we have a box partition, and then that one for kids and mothers. But this particular design, we have a nanny partition, what you'd call a young adult female goat that has gone from being a kid but hasn't yet started giving birth but it's reaching the stage of giving birth. So we have a partition for nannies, we have a partition for bucklings. Bucklings are also young male goats, right, that have gone from being kids. So they are like off breastfeeding, but then they are not yet old enough to start mating with females, right? So they are growing to the stage of actually mating, but have not yet reached them. So we have bucklings, we have nannies, we have the general flock, the adults, we have bucks, now the adult male that is ready for mating and then we have those, those being now adult females that are ready to mate. We have kids and then we have an isolation partition in them as the plan shows. So that is the difference between our usual structure and in this structure also. This also, these so many partitions also lead to the need for a balcony outside in the sense that because there are so many partitions, if you're going to have feeding troughs designed for each partition, find that you're going to end up using more material in making feeding troughs on the inside. So it's better you make one continuous feeding trough on the outside of the structure, which also makes it easy for someone that's putting food or feeds in the feeding trough so that you don't have to keep walking in and out of every partition, add food, water, things like that. We have water in each partition. That is mostly about our internal design of the structure. Let's talk about integrated structures in general and how they operate, especially for you who is looking at this video or who is looking at an integrated structure for the first time. The most important question about integrated structure, why do you have to construct an integrated structure rather than a standalone goat structure and another standalone chicken structure, given that we're talking about an integrated design. Integrated structures are highly recommended for you who is willing or who desires to move into livestock farm, but you have limited space. And is also recommended these two things move together because you have the finances to set up this structure, but then the space you're working with is limited. Someone may ask you, if you have the finances to set up the structures, then why do you have limited space? Because those finances could get you more space. This usually occurs in a situation whereby, let's say you work around town, for those people that are in urban areas or semi-urban areas, where you're not going to get a lot of you know, free land. You're not going to find five acres in town centers to set up a standalone goat structure. This is where think of setting up an integrated structure. Why do I have to combine limited space and finance? It is because, in actual sense, I want to be honest with my viewers, fellow farmers, that an integrated structure becomes a little more expensive than 
setting up two standalone views. Why? Because now you're looking at setting up a structure in storage form. It's a storage form structure. But on top of being storage, it also, most of these structures come up with a two roofing system whereby you have a roof for the lower side and another roof for the upper side. Basically, the roofing system is to allow that the waste that comes from the top structure is not supposed to drop on whatever is below. So you have a roof in the middle that directs the droppings away from whatever is below. So with these things, the factors that make it a bit more expensive are basically the need to set up a strong structure that can handle the weight of the god on the upper floor so they have to be strong material and then that part of roofing twice and then later even in maintenance itself because of course with time the god's urine the god's droppings are going to keep making this roof in the middle to corrode with time because of the acid in the urine so there is a bit of maintenance over time on that middle Part. So the solution would be to use stronger gauge of iron sheet, but which is also expensive. But then it also has its benefits. So for you who has enough space, I wouldn't advise you to go for this setup. Although, what are some of its advice? We are looking at a system of construct that allows you have two items in one space, at least one ground space, right? So you find that the way you have like apartments for someone that would have built five units on the ground floor, and now you need no space. And then you build a storied apartment building. So now instead of five, you have ten units. It's the same way it works. So you have a goat's unit over and then a chicken's unit on the ground floor, right? And then the other advantage is that even for you that doesn't have enough money to set the whole system up in one go, you can start with either side. You can be like, maybe for now I'm going to do chickens on the ground floor. And then over time, when the money comes through, you actually continue the construction. Just the same way they build ordinary storied buildings, you know for people that build them step by step. But then also, you don't even have to do it that way. We have a client, for those that have been watching our videos, you know our integrated structure that is for cattle and goat. You all remember that we started with the goat, which are on top, and we left space for the cows that were to be built later. We just had to make sure our structure was strong enough so that the weight that was put really high actually doesn't affect the general strength of our structure, right? Those are the advantages of this. Then the rest of it works just like the usual structures. Of course, we are going to attach an exercise yard. It's going to have outdoor feeders. It's going to have a spray crash. And we all know by now why we put all these items. For things like when the weather is dry for our goats, we can let them out. They have a bit of exercise, walk around, just to give them the same opportunity like those on free Then allow me to talk about the chicken structure. As I said, our chicken are on depleter system and it's for a capacity of 1,000 birds. Particularly, this is for local birds because the spacing is quite big. You have to look out for spacing per bird because we know, we all know, local bird and broiler and then what would be the mixed versus the croiler. You may have a different name for them where you are, but those are like the mixed where they still come up with a good body weight, but then they still lay. These birds tend to have different space requirements because of their different character traits, right? We all know local birds are more active, just like layers. They are more active, they walk around a lot, they play, they jump around, they fly around, you know. While broilers are docile, just have to give them food, they don't walk around much, they are more quiet. So you find that a square meter, you're going to assign 12 bird broilers a square meter. Yet, you're going to assign eight local birds or eight layers to that same square meter. Why that difference of over four birds? It's because the broilers are docile. It's going to eat in one place, it's going to move really little, and then it's going to sit down. While a layer, it's going to jump, it's going to go disturb another one, it's going to keep walking around, and that is their nature. Otherwise, when you compact them and they don't have enough space, they're going to gain a lot of weight and then because of lack of exercise, even laying eggs becomes a problem in time. That is one very important thing. So the reasons that attribute to the size of the ground floor for the chickens and its size is simply because, one, we are dealing with local or layer birds in this situation. So that's why it's big in size, because there are times where you're like, I'm going to only have 500 birds or 1,000 birds, but I want them to get space because I'm going to allow them to go outside. You want to give these birds enough space indoors that they almost feel like they're outdoors. They almost feel like they've walked a whole compound, right? That was one of the things that our client wanted. It's like, give them the space they need. Construction is not a problem. They'll eat and they'll walk around the way they want. So that is another thing. And then on our ground floor still, we have a room, as I said in the beginning, that could be used as a brooder, can be used as a store because both goats and chicken actually consume food. And given that our goats are on zero grade, you find that they have some form of pre-processed food like hay, they have like silage, whereby 
you can use this room as a storage unit for them. And then there are also other things you usually spray goats, so this room can be a store. And then, besides that, you're going to see that in this particular video, we did not provide a water system, but then it is usually important, as I always say, to have a water tank maybe, especially now that we are working with poultry. We all know how important water is while you're doing there's a lot of cleaning their dishes that they use for it. There's a lot of treatments. There's a lot of washing here, washing there, because poultry is quite demanding of sanitation. Their sanitation requirements are quite high, and you cannot speak sanitation without speaking water. So it's important you provide water on the farm, on the structure, and readily available water. So it is very important to do that, and we add a water tank on the side. Then our structure design also, as you may see, it has a ramp, of course, for access of the upper floor. It has an exercise yard and then it has a spray crush in the exercise yard and outdoor. By this time, we all know how that system works. Though, I also want to pull your attention for those that are meticulous on how you look at these videos. You'll realize there is a trench on both sides of our design. These trenches are for a very, very simple reason. When our droppings come from the goat side, and they go over the roof. We want them to be as easily collectible as it would be on an ordinary standalone goat structure, right? So we put these trenches to collect whatever droppings fall off the roof so that we can actually direct those droppings towards a central collection point. And from there, these wastes can be used in the garden as manure. These can be put into biogas tanks and for whatever reason you want to use that waste for, it can be done while collecting clean manure, you know, clean waste without it mixing in the soil. This is very important in this particular case, even more important when you're dealing with an integrated structure of cows and goats because in this particular case, you are dealing with chicken on the ground floor. And we all know how susceptible chicken can be to unhygienic city where they are going to catch all sorts of diseases if you do not have a proper way of cleaning waste around their structure, right? It is important that that trench is actually available. Some other things may be compromised on, but do not compromise on anything that deals with sanitation on a situation that has poultry in it. Anyway, thank you for watching with us, coming with us this far. Uh, that's been our integrated design. I remain Hamis from Kimdik Group of Canada.